Okay, I want to do a video on these uh, these seat belts that are attached to the doors on some of the uh, preludes. Um, sorry, I have to hold the door open because my S I parked my SUV too close to the car. Um, but uh, these seat belts attached to the doors appeared in the third generation Accord, um, which was from eighty six to nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty nine. In some of them here in the United States, and in some of them, the seat belts were attached to the B pillars. Um, all the sedans had them attached to the B pillars as well. Um, they appeared in the some of the third generation Preludes from 1988 to 1991, and some Civics and CRXs from this time period. And as far as I know, they did not appear in um, any other countries, but just in the United States and. I wanted to go over what these seat belts are, why they're attached to the doors, how to use them, and also uh, why it's important to maintain them as well. So I have my interior part because I'm in the middle of a project. Um, and the next step in my project is to remove the driver's side seat um, so I can proceed. So um, once I'm done this video, I will be doing that, but it will not be part of this video. Um, so what this seatbelt is, is it is, during this time period, there were many manufacturers that came out with automatic seatbelts. Um, some of them were powered that were ran on a track, and these were the other type of automatic seatbelts that were attached to the doors. Um, the ones that ran on a, that were power operated and ran on a track uh, showed up in, during this time period, in like the Ford Escort, the Ford Tempo, the Ford Probe. Um, and I believe the like the Toyota Camry and stuff like that. Um, and Honda didn't use that type until the early 90s in the Accord and Integra and the Civic. Okay, you may have noticed this warning label here on the um, the center console if you have these seatbelts. It's a seatbelt emergency release is located on buckle. So um, I've seen several... Um, guys that review cars and when they review the accords from older hondas from this time period they make fun of these labels because this seatbelt type where you buckle from the top was completely new all seatbelts typically looked like this where you had a button you pressed like this so hot and if you notice today all cars look like this all the seatbelt buckles but they originally look like this. So a lot of these reviewers assume that this label is because this because of this new seatbelt buckle, and that's not the case at all. It's because of the automatic seatbelt system that works in this car. So how this system works is you pretty much buckle the seatbelt in and leave it buckled. So I'm gonna try to do this here. Buckle it into place. And you should be able to close the door. And then when you want to get out, all you do is you open the door, leave the seatbelt buckled, and get right out. Sorry, this is fun if I'm getting out of this car with no space. But this is what the seatbelts are designed to do, is you just leave it buckled. And then when you want to get back in, you just slide in, get the seatbelt positioned on yourself. Like so, don't mind me, I'm a little fat. And then, and I can't flip the camera around. I'll just do it this way, I guess. And then I have the seatbelt on and I didn't have to buckle it at all. So what I wanna do now is step through how this seatbelt system works. So what happens is there's an extra switch inside the door latch here so that uh, the system monitors if, it's, if the door is completely latched there's um, there's sensors in the door, the seatbelt buckle, and if it's completely buckled in, and the key in the on position, it's supposed to engage the retractors. What it does here is it has electronic uh, solenoids that release the retractors, and this enables you to open the door with the seatbelt buckled. So these seatbelts are free. There's like nothing you can't like jam them because the solenoids are have released the, the retractors. But what it's supposed to do is if the door is latched, the seat belt is buckled, 
in the keys in the on position, it's supposed to engage the retractors so they function like normal. Once you shut the key off or unbuckle the seatbelt or open the door, it's supposed to automatically release the retractors so that um, the seatbelt will move freely. So um, the problem with this is if it malfunctions, you're in trouble in multiple ways. The first one is, um, and I had this actually happen on the passenger side, was that the um, the uh, the seatbelt retractor may lock and not release when it's supposed to, then you can't get the door open. Or the seatbelt buckle may get jammed in this seatbelt buckle here. And what Honda did is they actually had a recall back in the day where they added these lip thingies to the seatbelt buckle to keep the the blade or the tongue at the proper position so it wouldn't jam in here. This is actually out of a prelude. Um, and the other one, which I'm going to test here in a minute, is if the retractors do not re-engage, the seatbelt will not protect you in a car accident. So I am going to pause the video. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to put the seatbelt on, put the key in the on position, and then I'm going to turn the video, I'm going to start recording again to see if this seatbelt will lock up when it's supposed to. And if it doesn't, then I know I need to figure out how to repair this. And before I do that, I do want to show you where the seatbelt controller is for this whole system. It's right under the passenger seat in this gray box right here. So if you yours is not working, the um, 3G's Facebook page has the um, shop manual for the third generation Accord that steps through how to test this feature. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my key's in the on position and it's not stopping it. So mine will not work. Sorry, my flashlight is dying. Um, so mine is not working in the event of an accident and therefore I need to figure out how to fix it. Um, so that in the event so I need to stop quickly, the seatbelt will, will prevent me from getting injured. So once I figure out how to fix this and get it working properly, I will do another video on how to repair this. But I wanted to make everyone aware that has these seatbelts to check to make sure that they're working because if they're not, you, the seatbelt is not going to protect you in the event of an accident. So... I just thought I'd show that bit of information and um, hopefully this video will help save someone's life or keep them from getting injured anyway. And um, please like and subscribe and feel free to, to message me if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching.